So without any further ado, uh, we've got two very distinguished guests joining us today. A privilege to have on board, given that the topic at hand is data journals. Uh, Jane Smith is the Sherpa Service Development Officer at the Centre for Research Communications, University of Nottingham. And in this role, Jane's involved in a number of projects around open access information, including Romeo, Juliet, Open Door, Fact, and Jord. And those of you who have, not been, or who have been involved in institutional publication repositories, will be very familiar with at least some of those acronyms. Jane's here today to talk about the Jord Project, Journal Research Policy Data Bank, which has a particular focus on journal publisher data sharing policies. And we also have very privileged to have with us today, Dr. Fiona Murphy, who is the publisher for Earth and Environmental Sciences Journals at Wiley, working with a number of titles, societies, and other publishing partners. Uh, Fiona is also increasingly involved with emerging initiatives that promote good management practices of research data, including use, reuse, citation, and linking with primary publications. Among other activities, this has led to becoming a core partner in the PREPARED project, on peer review and publication of data sets and to membership of the STM Association Research Data Group and the World Data System Data Publication Working Group. But firstly, Jane, I'm just wondering if you could provide us for a brief a brief overview of your project and tell us or tell the listeners where they could access more information about your project. Uh, yes, uh, the journal research Data Policy Bank, or JORD, was a six-month feasibility study held at the latter half of 2012. It was commissioned by uh, JISC and looked at scoping and shaping potential service to provide a ready source of information covering journal policy, landscape and research data. I'm Excellent. afraid I don't have the link. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But we'll include that. I don't know why I forgot. We, 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 we had a bit of a power cut uh, at the university yesterday, so I had to quickly rewrite all the slides. That's, that's and I Peter forgot fine. forgot to add the uh, link on. We'll add them into the slide uh, bank that comes with this short recording. Thanks very much, Jane. Now, Fiona Murphy, I'm just wondering if you were able to outline for us what sort of work you've been conducting at Wiley in this area, please, and also where our listeners would also be able to access information about your projects and data public uh, and data publication. I'm glad you asked me that, Alex. <laughs> um, so, uh, in my capacity as a as a publisher for Earth and Environmental Sciences, um, I've, I've I was working with one of my society partners, the Royal Meteorological Society, and we've put together a, a new journal called Geoscience Data Journal, uh, which publishes um, short data describing articles, which are cross-linked um, to a, a, a rich site um, a data set, which has been deposited in a reliable data centre, and you can find that um, on um, just Google Geoscience Data Journal and you'll find it. Um, I'm also part of the Prepared Project, which is um, the publication, uh, I always forget the acronym as well, and I've just moved it, it's Peer Reviewed Publication and Accreditation of Research Data in the Earth Sciences, which is also a JISC funded project from the Managing Research Data Strand. Um, it's a 12-month project, which um, has got another six weeks or so to run. It's got uh, the uh, partners from the university sector, data centres, um, publishers, and um, and it's also got two international partners um, in the in the US. And you can find information about that um, from the um, there's a couple of prepared sites. Um, get prepared is um, P R E P A R D E. So you have to have to spell it wrong um, and put that in with um, either Leicester University would probably be the, the, the best way. Um, you can also um, sign up to the, the GISC mailing list, which is data-publication at GISCmail, which is J-I-S-C-M-A-I-L dot A-C dot U-K. That's probably enough, isn't it? Thanks, Fiona. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, we'll just wind up. For those of you listening to this short recording, please navigate to the complete webinar recording where you where you'll hear the full presentations from Jane and Fiona uh, at youtube.com slash Thank you. Thank you very much, Jane and Fiona.